If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that there are two things I'm particularly into, snack products and coffee. So you'd think that something combining those two interests would be right up my alley. But just because I want to have coffee with my breakfast doesn't necessarily mean that I want to have coffee in my breakfast. So yes, this is Dunkin' Donuts coffee flavored breakfast cereal. Um, this came out originally in 2020. This is the first time I saw it. I saw it at Walmart this week. Uh, and if I haven't seen it, it's new to me. So post once again, kind of doing some weird stuff with their, um, you know, make this cereal taste like an existing product line of cereals. This one, there's actually coffee in this, so it's not too late in the day. I'm hoping this won't be uh, too much of a problem for me. There's no listing on the side of the possible caffeine content, which usually on products containing caffeine, there is. That may be restricted to beverages. Um, I don't know. But so this is made from corn flour, um, and then there are marshmallows in it and uh, kind of usual... Uh, cereal ingredients, you know, some cereal preservative chemicals and artificial colors and stuff. And then coffee concentrate is actually on the list of ingredients. Now it's four, five, six, seven, it's like eighth. So probably a pretty small amount, but uh, I mean, let me tell you, when I opened this to uh, pour the bowl out, it's pretty strongly uh, aromatic of coffee. You know, but a specific kind of coffee too. But there's also a pretty strong kind of caramel sort of note in there as well, which I think this has, uh, yeah, natural and artificial flavor. Um, I don't usually like the taste of, of kind of the artificially added caramel flavor. I think it can be kind of weird and cloying and it's, you know, it's always just a little ersatz to me. Um, but, you know, I try to go into these things with uh, an open mind, so we'll see. So this is Caramel Macchiato. There's also a mocha latte flavor. I don't recall seeing that one. I would not have bought two entire 17-ounce uh, boxes of Dunkin' Donuts flavored cereal, even if I had seen it. Um, but yeah, so um, I did show the cereal, but basically... The main component of the cereal looks like this. Kind of just looks like a cocoa puff. Um, and then there are these marshmallows that sort of look like, you know, very small potatoes kind of latte art. So it's sort of like the top of, uh, you know, a foamed milk drink or whatever. So, I mean, that's design-wise, I think it's kind of cute. Um, you know, or at least it, it, it works. It kind of displays what this is trying to represent. So, you know, decent job there, I think, visually. Um, I do think it's interesting that they went with kind of the Cocoa Puff looking cereal because this one is not supposed to have, I mean, the mocha latte, mocha typically refers to chocolate. Um, I assume that one tastes more like chocolate or supposed to. This one, caramel macchiato, you shouldn't really have that flavor. So, I mean, this brown could be just coffee, obviously but it doesn't make me think of Cocoa Puffs and thus chocolate. Although I think it is a little bit lighter in color than a Cocoa Puff. All right, so I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna grab a couple more pieces out of here. So I'm gonna have a handful with four marshmallow bits and three puffs, which hopefully will be good to give me a sense for what this is like dry.
I don't mind that. The puffs are, it's been a long time since I've had Cocoa Puffs, but they, they do remind me of that. They have kind of a, a nice airy crunch. It also sort of puts me in mind of like um, kicks, but like sweeter kicks because regular kicks only have like three or four grams of sugar per serving. This has 19. So I would not have been allowed to purchase this as a child. Um, let's just try a couple of these by themselves. Mm-hmm, yeah, pretty good crunch. I was worried the coffee flavor would be kind of overwhelming and it really isn't. It's, it's somewhat subtle. Now there might, be, there might be more of it in the marshmallows. But the puffs themselves, at least dry, are just kind of light and sweet, nice and crispy. So a pretty good start here. Um, I dare say I'm a little surprised, but that's why they play the games. All right, so let's try a couple of the marshmallows by themselves. Also relatively subtle. It's interesting because the aroma out of the box is pretty big. But the flavor is muted but in a good way, because I don't think you want this to be just overpowering, like kind of concentrated coffee taste. So yeah, the, the marshmallows have the texture of typical kind of cereal marshmallows, you know, Lucky Charms or what have you. I've always found that to be kind of a fun texture. It's very nostalgic. But yeah, mostly just kind of light and sweet. Little bit of, of caramel coffee notes, but again, not heavy. So the flavor really is fairly mild and pleasant compared to this big aroma that wafts up out of the box. So from an eating standpoint, I'm actually pretty pleased with, with this. I mean, you could argue, I suppose, that it's almost taste-wise, there's not quite enough coffee, but I don't think you want it to be to be too strong and overpowering. And especially when you think of uh, a milk drink, the coffee flavor is frequently not that strong. I mean, if uh, remember the, they were also Dunkin', weren't they? The Dunkin' Iced Coffee Girl Scout flavors that did not taste like coffee at all. So I'm not surprised that the coffee flavor is not strong here. Okay, um, I've got some milk out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it onto the bowl of cereal that I brought from the kitchen um, to try and be as generous as possible. I mean, I did wonder after the oatmeal cream pie cereal review, I don't think I let it sit that long, but did I let it sit too long that I'd never give it a fair shot, you know, right when you put milk on it, because you don't typically let cereal sit. Um, I think I gave it a fair shake, but I could understand the argument otherwise, so I'm going to try to do that with uh, the milk here. <laughs> Don't want to tilt that forward too much. So there's there's uh, milk. You can see there, there's the milk. So I'm going to just do a quick kind of saturation of the cereal that's in the bowl just to make sure every piece is at least damp. And then I'm just gonna go right into it. And then we'll also kind of taste it a couple times or I will taste it a couple of times. The Royal Wheat. Um, over time, just to kind of see how it holds up. So, number one, so this is, you know, whatever that was, 15 seconds after putting milk on it. Let's see. So far, not bad. This is, you know, the milk was just poured onto it. But one thing that I think is kind of interesting is that, you know, I don't know how exactly they did this or if it's a sort of a coincidence, but I feel like the coffee flavor really is ramped up by the addition of the milk. It's not that strong when you eat the cereal dry, but when you pour the milk on and then consume it, the addition of the liquid or something, this kind of coffee flavor sort of leaching out of these cereal pieces that kind of wasn't that detectable before. And so it's becoming a little more strongly coffee flavored, not hugely. So it's still mild and fairly pleasant um, from that standpoint, but that sort of alleviates the theoretical concern that I had that 
well, actually, is there even enough coffee flavor in the dry pieces? Um, I would say that there is enough coffee flavor once you've got some milk on it. But kind of let's see how this how this lasts. All right, so it's been a little bit longer now. One thing that's interesting is the milk, you can really hard to kind of show to the camera, but the milk is really taking on, you know, some of that kind of, um, you know, cocoa look. Now there is not actually any cocoa in here. It's possible, I guess, that the coffee concentrate itself is sort of adding some of this color, but at any rate, you know, this cocoa kind of look is sort of going into the milk. So the milk is turning a little bit more like a very light brown. Um, and it really is taking on some of that kind of caramel flavor. And actually, I mean, once again, the aroma, perhaps because it's so kind of uncut, I thought was really aggressive and kind of too much. Um, this little bit of caramel coffee flavor that's just sort of leached into the milk is pretty nice, actually. Yeah, it's just kind of this light, sweet, kind of caramelly, vaguely, vaguely, super vaguely coffee flavor. Pretty solid. Like if, you know, once you eat all the cereal, you have to kind of drink the end of the milk. That's a, that's going to be a pretty good experience, I think. At least if it, uh continues to resemble what it did in that little spoonful there. All right, so it's been another, you know, couple of minutes here. So let's see how the cereal is holding up or if it's getting, you know, overly soggy. It's definitely starting to get a bit soggy, but it's holding up better than like the oatmeal cream pie cereal did. And there's a better balance between, you know, the sort of, the sort of mushiness that starts happening but some of the sort of residual crunchiness. Yeah, the outsides are definitely a little a little on the soggy side. Um, and the marshmallows are definitely starting to get kind of kind of soggy. Um, which, you know, this is just what happens to cereal, so that's not a complaint, just a description. But the inside of the of the puffs, at least, is holding up okay so far. So there's sort of a a decent contrast as far as the initial slight, you know, kind of over dampness of the exterior leading into a, you know, a better textural experience. Um, you know, to compare this again to the oatmeal cream pie, those kind of fell apart, um, but in sort of a weird way. These so far are holding up in the middle. Now, the, as they get a little soggier, the experience might start to be similar to the oatmeal cream pie, so we'll see. Give it another couple minutes here. But so far, still okay. These are all corn. There's no oat in here. I don't know, you know, what difference the different flours might make as far as sort of resistance or hardiness in milk, but uh, that may play some role. Um... Yeah, so look, the the exterior, I just think this is, you know, something that tends to happen with, you know, these kind of sweet breakfast cereals when you put them in milk. It's a little soggy in a way that is not the single most pleasant thing that I could imagine, certainly. On the whole, so far, you know, we're a, a few minutes in here. Um, on the whole, I think the puffs hold up well enough that it does not become super unpleasant. Is the soggy dish my favorite thing? No. Do I expect it? I mean, you kind of have to, but it never becomes like a disaster the way I found the oatmeal cream pie too. So, so that's fine there. Um, you know, the marshmallows, I would say hold up in a comparable way to, you know, any other cereal marshmallow, which is to say they get, you know, pretty damp. But, you know, they're just like sugar and gelatin, so they kind of just melt away. You don't really have that problem of this sort of messy mixture of, of textures that the, that the puffs can give you. Mm. 
Yeah. I mean, the middle is still... I don't know if it's because there's more air in the middle of these, but just that, that through texture, there really is kind of the slight sogginess and then still a bit of crisp, and then it just you're just kind of through it. Um, you know, so there isn't like this kind of mess that it just sort of turns into weird, gross sludge or whatever. So texture-wise, I'm not having too much of a problem with this. Flavor-wise, I'm... Like I said, I'm kind of surprised by how much I'm enjoying this. I mean, look, it's not the the best thing ever, but it does put me in mind of a caramel macchiato without being cloying or super fakey tasting or kind of just overwhelming. Um, it's a fairly mild flavor. You know, it's just kind of pleasantly sweet with a little bit of caramel flavor, a little bit of coffee flavor. I mean, when you think about how bad this could have gone, this is really good. <laughs> you know, would I buy more of it? No, mainly just because this isn't the way that I like my coffee. Um, and I also don't eat much breakfast cereal. But if I did, sure, I would buy it again if I actually ate breakfast cereal regularly. It is, it is this is a very solid product. I'm as shocked as you are. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice finish on that remaining milk too. Hmm. I will be darned. So yeah, um, I'm not as upset that I have more of this to eat. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts caramel macchiato cereal. Uh, this is actually good. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked. I really thought this was just gonna be awful. Um. For what it is, you know, very sweet breakfast cereal with marshmallows, you know, tastes a little bit like, uh, you know, a caramel coffee drink. This is actually really good. Who knew? Yeah, well, it's always nice when I can review something favorably on this, on this channel. Um... Yeah, so that's it for this episode of Flax on Snacks, Dunkin' Donuts Caramel Macchiato Cereal. If you like the taste of like a caramel latte at all and you eat breakfast cereal of this type, this is good. I do find it a little strange as far as like who this is for because, I mean, we're talking like marshmallows here. So it looks like a kid's cereal, but obviously you probably don't want to give something with concentrated coffee in it to like small children. Um, so maybe like, you know, high school kids who kind of have not grown out of eating cereal that looks like this yet, but are old enough to have started drinking coffee and, and you know, like to have a little, a little extra pick me up in the morning. I mean, again, I don't know how much caffeine is actually in here. I'm guessing it's a pretty marginal amount. Um, I'm certainly hoping it is because it's like 1 p.m. Um, and I don't, typically like to have any coffee after noon if I want to not mess up my sleep for the evening. But yeah, um, so the audience for this is, is a little confusing to me. But setting that aside, just from an objective standpoint, um, obviously there are still adults who, you know, like to eat cereal like this. Flavor-wise, it is shockingly good. So, yeah. That's it for this episode. More to come, so stay tuned for those. But uh, I'll see you next time.